Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Starlink. Now, my last video had some great success, and so I'm hoping that this one will also do just as well, and that I can help a lot of you out on learning about Starlink and how it can benefit you. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the updates because Elon Musk has released the public beta uh, in higher latitudes, I think, of the United States and Canada. So people have been sharing their experience with Starlink and what their speeds have been and the setup process and everything. So we're going to be going over every single thing you need to know about Starlink and how to get started. So if you guys do enjoy this video or find that it helped you and answer any of your questions, please, please, please drop a like on the video because it helps with the algorithm. And be sure to subscribe and turn on post notification bells because I'm going to be posting a lot more content on Starlink and if you guys are interested, you guys will know about it instantly. You will be a part of the first to know system of Odie. Alright, let's get into the video. So first of all, get on their website right now, Starlink, uh, links in description. Just sign up using your address, I think, and your email address. They'll send you an email saying your location is available for the beta. Currently, you need to be in higher latitudes in the United States and uh, in most of like lower of Canada, then you might be able to get the Starlink beta. So now that you know how to sign up, even if you don't have the availability to, to sign up, just do it anyways because you'll get your name on the list. We're going to be going over the whole process from unboxing to what the speeds are and everything we know. So starting off the unboxing. So there have been multiple videos of Starlink unboxings and you guys can go check that out on YouTube. I've seen some on Twitter. So yeah, it comes with the dish, modem, the cabling, and even the mounting for the dish for where you need to mount it. Now from this guy's unboxing, I saw that it came with kind of like a tripod mount. Uh, so it looks like it might sit on the floor. But uh, I'm hoping that maybe they'll sell an extra accessory so you can mount it on your roof or somewhere like that. I have seen multiple people uh, mount them on the roof, so you kind of just have to be creative with that. And what I really like about this dish is it's nice, it's clean, and it's minimalistic. It's really tiny and it looks very futuristic as you guys can see in some of these pictures I'm putting up. They are really nice and I mean they're not one of those huge ugly hideous like old satellite dishes. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's not like that. So now that you guys know what comes in the box and uh, the unboxing of it, we're going to talk about setup difficulty. And this is a big thing to a lot of people. So basically, Starlink doesn't require professional help to set it up. It's all done by you. And SpaceX makes it really easy uh, to go through and set it all up from start to finish. Of course, when I get Starlink, I will be showing you guys a lot more videos on how to set it up and the speeds and all that of my own testing. But for now, this is what I know. I know that it comes with all the stuff, like I said before, it comes with all the stuff you need, which makes the setup process really easy. I also know that SpaceX is in development of an app. I think it might be already out, but uh, they are in development of an app uh, of, of Starlink, and so it helps you through the setup process. It even has AR to show you if you have the right uh, range or the, the line of sight. If you have the right line of sight, it'll tell you through AR if you are in a good location. So basically, I think you just unbox the satellite, put it on the tripod or the stand, set it up, use the AR app to make sure you're in a good location on your property. And once you have all of the, you have a clear line of sight, once you're done with that, it's probably just a power cable and uh, a cable to the modem. Now, once you have your modem, you can get a router, you can uh, use an ethernet cable to connect your modem to your router, and bam, your whole house has Wi-Fi. Now that you know the simpleness of the Starlink uh, setup, we're gonna be talking about pricing. This is another huge thing. I know a lot of people in rural areas that are willing to pay anything to get good internet because literally, like, like me, we have no options for internet out here other than LTE, Verizon. And I've heard of countless other people who have similar issues where they have to use their, their phone service instead of like any uh, internet service. So, for the whole thing, it costs $500. For all the, the supplies, for the one box, 
that comes with everything you need. It's $500. Now, honestly, I'm really happy with this because, like, if you think about it, you're like, oh my gosh, first reaction is like, oh my gosh, $500 is kind of a lot. But then you start thinking about it. Think about how much that dish costs, how much the supplies and everything costs, and think about shipping and all that stuff. Like, $500 is honestly a good price for what you get. And I'm really happy about that because they could have easily made it over a thousand, I think, and people would have bought bought it just as much. So the beta program costs one hundred dollars a month, and that's what I've been hearing around everywhere, and it's pretty much confirmed that it's a hundred dollars a month for the beta program. It's actually called the Better Than Nothing Beta Program, and that's because we're gonna be talking about this later. But the internet cuts in and out uh, randomly. That's why it's called the Better Than Nothing. Like. You either have no internet or you have spotty Starlink internet. It's better than nothing, right? Now, you're probably wondering what the speeds are for Starlink. This is the biggest thing that people ask. They're like, um, is it even worth it? Like, um, I don't know. Help me decide. So, this is what we know from people sharing what their, their experience is. Uh, I've seen speeds from 50 to 150 Mbps download. I've seen a couple over 150, but averages should be around 50 to 150 Mbps download. That's insane and that's perfect for what I want. Right now, I'm getting 20 Mbps at best. It takes forever to download things. Upload speeds are from 10 to 50 Mbps. Now, this is insane to me because I get under 1 Mbps. A lot of people have it worse than me even, and I'm already below 1 Mbps. So 10 Mbps at the low for Starlink for upload is insane. It's honestly perfect for everything. My YouTube videos will up uh, upload quickly because right now they're literally failing every time I click the upload button. It's like, uh, failure, try again, whatever. And for you gamers, latency has been shown to be from 20 milliseconds all the way up from 60 at the very highest. Mostly, it's averaging around 20 to 40 uh, milliseconds for the latency, but uh, some latencies have been up to 60. But honestly, right now, I have over 100 milliseconds in all of my games, because I'm a gamer, I've played some games, see if they use Fortnite, some other games. They all have over 100 milliseconds ping, and for a lot of those games, it's impossible to play. So, having under 60 at all times is going to be insane. Now, I don't think Starlink is the best option for gaming just yet because of the spottiness, but I did just discover an app called Speedify that basically puts two connections into one. And you have both of those, so LTE, cellular connection, and Starlink. You can put both of those together into one connection, so if Starlink cuts out like it has been, which I'll talk about again later. So let's say Starlink's cutting out, your cellular connection is reliable. Once Starlink cuts out, it'll kick that cellular in so your game doesn't lag. I'm sure there will be some lag in it, and I haven't tested it with gaming, but that might be an option. Uh, it's called Speedify, if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, we're going to be talking about probably the one, one of the most important questions that everyone has is when am I going to be able to get it? Because only if very, like, people are getting it, but they have to be up in higher latitudes of the United States and lower latitudes of Canada. This makes it hard because a lot of like the, the, the center, the center of the United States is a lot of not connected people. It's all rural. Not all, but like mostly rural is in the middle of the United States. So even the majority of Starlink hasn't been connected yet. Starlink system, they need to deploy more uh, satellites, which they're doing at a rapid rate. But once they deploy more satellites, they'll be able to cover all of the United States and then eventually all of the world. This is this is what we know so far from Elon Musk. I've been keeping a strong eye on this, especially because I am in the center of California, so center of center latitude of the United States. So I should be expecting, based off of what Elon is saying, anywhere from six weeks, which is like a month and a half, uh, to two months. And this is so exciting for me. Uh, Elon says anywhere from four to six weeks, there will be uh, an expansion. And this is, this is great. I think that I might be included in that expansion. Of course, we don't know how far down he's gonna expand or what he's gonna do really. Someone asked, hey, I'm in Florida. How long should I expect until I can get Starlink? Elon basically said anywhere from January, February, and March at the latest. 
Of course, anything can go wrong, but I think it's safe to say that I will have Starlink in Central California. I will have Starlink before February. And honestly, I'm not disappointed with that. I'm excited. I've honestly waited over a year for Starlink and I'm getting closer, so close. I'm, I'm really excited to have internet good for once. I can watch that 4K video easy. You guys are probably freaking out because I've been saying Starlink has been cutting out and that's true. A lot of people, pretty much everyone I think, has been experiencing uh, spotty connections. Uh, sometimes Starlink is up, sometimes it's down. It doesn't work at all, it does work really well. It's, it's kind of hit or miss. And so this is because they're developing it and uh, yeah, they need to get it better. So this is why it's a beta, of course. Now I don't know, like there's no pattern to when it's spotty, um, but a lot of people have been experiencing spotty connections, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and over time, of course, it's gonna be able to get better and you'll even get higher speeds over time. So the 150 Mbps download right now I'm talking about is probably not even it's definitely not the highest it will be able to go in the future, and I'm excited for that. Now, one last thing that you guys might be curious about to end off the video, I'm going to be talking about weather. And if you live in pretty much any state, it rains, it snows, it hails, it has all these crazy weathers. So, your question is, does Starlink get affected from weather? And from what I know is no. We just kind of hit the snow season, uh, raining season, and all over Reddit, which is where I get all my Starlink information from people, a lot of people have been reporting their feedback on if Starlink gets affected by weather. And the answer that I found is no. A lot of people have had it rain, have had it snow, and they've had just fine connection. The same latency, the same download, the same upload. Now, of course, I cannot confirm this. I'm kind of like 50% confident. Like, yeah, a couple people said it was totally fine, but of course, there's worse conditions. We'll, we'll just have to see until late, more information comes out. If you guys want, if you guys are interested in Starlink, I highly, highly recommend you go to the Starlink Reddit, and you will be able to, there's endless amount of information on there, specifics, uh, just any questions you have, just go to Reddit. They literally have everything. Cannot wait until I get Starlink, so be sure to subscribe because I'm going to have endless amounts of content on Starlink when I get it because I'm just super excited about it. This is insane technology. I can't wait. And so, yeah, be sure to subscribe, notifications on, like the video, and I think this video is over. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace out.